Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natasha and this is my makeup party. If you're just now checking me out, thanks for checking me out. Smashbox has some new cover shots palettes. They have three new cover shots eye palettes. I bought two of them and they also have two other new palettes. They have a face palette and a lip palette. The face and lip palettes are both very warm toned and they are based on the cover shot eye palette which is called a blaze which is a very warm toned cover shot eyeshadow palette. I don't have that one anymore. I bought it forever ago. It was like one of the very earliest warm tone eyeshadow palettes and I felt like I didn't need all these eyeshadow palettes that are warm so that's one of the ones I got rid of. I sell a lot of my stuff on Poshmark and I also sell a lot of my stuff to Glambot. So I will show you the palette that I have on and then I'll show you the other palette and the cheek and lip palette. But first, this one that I have on right now is called Prism, Prism Eye Palette. We have this beautiful holographic thing going on here with the color, the pigment explosion going on there. I love it. This is a very purple, ethereal, gorgeous, duo chromey palette, but it is very compact and very simple and very small. I don't like the fact that there is not a transition color in here. I do not like the gray at all. I do not like gray eyeshadow. It doesn't blend well. It doesn't look good sheared out. It doesn't look good on my skin, period. So I have a little trouble with that one color, but the rest of the colors are just fantastic. We have metallics, and then we have these two shades right here that are different. They're a chunky, chunky kind of duochrome glitter, but they're not really glitter. They're just a chunky product. It's hard to explain. It even says on here to apply those two colors with your finger, not a brush, for maximum pigment payoff. And that's what I did today. I took a little bit of this color right here and dabbed it in my inner corner. And look at the extreme blue holographic color going on there. It's so pretty. I have several of these colors on. I'm going to show you how I applied this, but first let me swatch for you. Okay, here are your colors. Let me turn the light down a little bit. You can see the two one, the two here that are kind of that weird chunkiness. Here's one and then here's the other. It is a weird duochrome metallic, but it's not glitter. It's like chunks. I think it's very strange. This one's a little smoother, but this one would be a pretty color if it wasn't so lumpy. Then these other ones, I have this one on my lid, is absolutely gorgeous. This is a duochrome gold pink. It's so pretty. That's so pretty. What I like about these Cover Shots palettes is that they are small and portable. I like that fact. And then they keep coming out with them, coming out with new color combinations, etc. That's what I like about these little Cover Shots palettes. Is so here is how I applied this look today. It's very simple, it's very easy, but it's light and pretty and ethereal and I love it. Okay, this is not a very complex palette. There's not really any good transition or crease colors in here. I do not like dark gray on my eyes. It's just, so it's gonna be a really simple look. I'm just gonna press this purple color on my lid right now, the light lavender color, which is called Bratmosphere. And pressing that, I'm going to bring that up toward the crease a little higher than I normally would a lid color. Bringing it up kind of high since there's not really going to be a crease or transition going on here. Outer corner, I'm going to use a semi-flat brush to press this dark purple in the outer corner. I happen to know that this is, um, because I've used this palette before, that this purple is just sort of an overcoat of purple. Background of it is gray. So once that sort of shine comes off on your brush here, it sort of turns gray very quickly. I'm packing it on instead of fluffing it into place because if you fluff that into place, you're removing that purple overcoat and you're just getting gray. And then I'm just gonna kind of carry it into the crease a tiny bit, not all the way in. It's just kind of going to be a V-shaped here. See how it's gone very gray through here where I have blended it, but it's still purple down here where I haven't really blended that top coat off. This happens a lot. It's not just this palette. 
Up under the brow, I'm going to place this pink metallic along the top here, and that one's called Gal Palace. I'm just going to take an angled brush and go into that deep purple again and line under my eyes, but mostly the outer corner of it. If you just stamp that purple on like that, then you get the actual purple. Any blending that you do of it, you kind of take that top coat off and then it becomes that black gray. Now I am going to have to blend it to some extent or else I'm going to have a real harsh line right there. I just cleaned my brush off and I'm just going to kind of blend the edge. Not the whole line, just the edge. The rest of the way, I think I'm going to put this gold. This is a pretty gold metallic here, and that is called Rising Sign. And I have to do this. I have to take this sparkling top coat here, which is called Rocket Star. I take that on my pinky and just stamp that into this inner corner because it's so beautiful. It is a holographic blue glitter. It's chunky, chunky, chunky though. So you got to kind of smooth it out. But look at that. And here is the next new shade in the Cover Shots palette. It's, this is the Minimalist. There's a cool side and a warm side sort of in here. Sort of a golden brown side and then a sort of a silvery grayish taupe side. I used a lot of the colors in this palette today actually. I used this one this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I used almost all of them. I have on my lips a color from the new Smashbox Be Legendary Lip Palette. These are warm shades. They're beautiful. These are mostly mattes, and these are the Be Legendary Lipstick shades. I'm going to show you those. And then on my cheeks, I have a couple of the colors from the new Ablaze Face Palette. So we have two Ablaze products here. They go with the Ablaze co Colored Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette, which is a warm toned palette. So first of all, the Minimalist. I will swatch those for you. And this is what I came up with on that today. Here are the shades from the Minimalist. So you can see it's all very minimal. These, I like that this is a mixture of mattes and shines. I really like the basic tones of this. So here's what you can do. You can kind of use one side, side or the other. You've got sort of a grayish theme here, a very neutral theme. And then you've got more of a golden brown theme going on over here. So you can use this side or use that side or mix the whole thing up like I did. It makes it really easy and really go to and really everyday and really minimalist. I love it. So let me show you this Ablaze cheek palette and I love the packaging on that. It's so pretty. It's like a sunset. So this is a face palette. You have in here two highlighters, two blushes, and then two sort of contouring matte products over here. I was not able to use these two colors over here, they are very, very orange on the skin and they don't really look that way in the pan. I thought this one would be good. It looks a little on the sort of gray or toper side, but it didn't end up looking good on my skin. So I'm wearing today this lighter blush and this beautiful, beautiful electric peach highlighter. Look at that color. I think it's so pretty. This palette is wonderful for those warm eye looks that we're all doing right now. We're always, you know, what blush do I put with a warm eye look? And here you go, these orangey sort of blushes. And here you go. So here are your two contour products. This is actually the lighter one, and this is the deeper one. Now that I put quite a bit on there, I went heavier on that than I had earlier, that may work as sort of a bronzer for me. It's looking a little um, just more neutral colored and less bright orange than it did when I first applied it to my skin. Here are your two highlighters. I love this one. I love that one. This one's a nice, intense gold, a very bronzy gold color, but man, this one just really gets me. Here's the brighter orange of the two blushes, and that is a matte, and then this light orangey blush. That one is actually a shiny, shimmery color. It didn't really look that way as I was applying it today, and I'll show you in a minute here how I did everything today, but I love this palette because it is so on trend right now with all the warm eyes that we have to have a warm cheek palette to go with all of that. 
And now here is the Ablaze Be Legendary Lip Palette. Oh boy, I have one of the colors on my lips today. I'm not real sure that it really goes with what I have on the rest of my face, but I thought this was such a pretty matte berry color that I, it was the prettiest color out of this palette that I thought. You get these Be Legendary lipstick shades in here. This is a pretty comfortable matte. Uh, the Be Legendary mattes are pretty comfortable. So that feels pretty decent on my lip. Let me swatch these for you. This is a nice warm lip palette for all those warm looks we're doing right now. Okay, I won't be wearing this one on the end here. That is almost black. But look at how pretty these are for warm looks. These two right here are really grabbing me. So are these two. Not so into the orangey orange. But for my warm looks, I can definitely see wearing any of these here. Black. So you've got some that are mattes. These three here are mattes. This one's a matte. And then these two are shine. So stay tuned if you want to see how I put this together today. It's just a basic everyday eye. It's going to go with everything with it. So thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. This, I'm going to go into this light taupe right here and just sweep that through. Coming out more taupe than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be really gray, and I'm like, eh, I'm not so into the gray, but... And taking this darker taupe and going into my inner crease with that on a smaller brush. I think I'm going to dip into this light tan and just sort of warm up the top of my crease. Yeah, I like that better. It's just adding a little warmth up there. Everything was getting very gray. And pressing this light silvery color onto my lid with my finger. And dipping into this deep chocolate brown matte for my outer corner. I'm just going to swipe a little of this sort of medium gold just kind of between the silver and the and the darker colors out here just to sort of transition it I'm going to use a little bit of this lighter colored orangey color in this palette for my blush. I don't want to go too orange orange with that other shade. It's a bright shade. I like to take the clean side of the brush and just kind of blend it together with everything else. That's a good shade. It's not too orange. And now I'm going to use this gorgeous, this is so, so pretty on, this peach highlighter. It is beautiful on. Look at that. It is so peach. I have other peach highlighters, but they're not this intense, bright peach. They're more like a neutrally peach. 